Hello. Uh, got a little lost in these lovely things. Uh, jamming. These, these, I haven't listened to them in a while. So, once, hello, thank you for joining, and nice seeing you guys in the chat. Uh, for those that don't know, this was my very, well, not the specific pair, but the Aeolus was my very first ZMF that I ever got, and it was the Zero Coats. Uh, and then I saw the African Blackwoods, and I was like, I need those in my life. And then, like a very regretful person that I am about this, I sold my Zero Coats to kind of swap to the, the Blackwoods. Um, hey, what's going on, Elric? Um, and I regret that. I, I And now, anytime I'll, if I ever get a ZMF again, I'll never sell any other ones like if I that's just it that's that's the new that's the new movement going forward um yeah can see in here you perfect no no I I purposely was trying to make sure that that, that Kareem uh didn't didn't win that little little battle uh hopefully everyone's doing good out there <laughs> so Martin uh Fox James uh Kareem Audio Fool everybody people how's it going thanks for joining um, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so let's talk about these things. Cause like I said, these were my first EMFs, not the specific pair, but the Aeolus was. Um, and at the time I had the LCD X, the LCD X was on loan, uh, and the clear OGs and the Elex. And I think I had some other stuff when I first got into it. And the only thing that stayed was the Aeolus. Um, I just love the sound of this. Like, I don't know, like... It, it's just, it's not as detailed as something like, um, hopefully my cable doesn't go flying, as the, uh, as something like the Verite, for instance, like is, is technically capable, but uh, holy sleepy rhythms, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Thanks, my man. Cheers. I appreciate it, brother. Um, <laughs> thank you. You rock, man. Um, that, that'll have to go towards some, some new fountain pen hobby. Um, <laughs> uh, thanks, Sleepy. Thanks for jumping in, my man. Um, but, uh, anyhow, um, man, Sleepy threw my, my game off, brother. Um, so, uh, once again, the Aeolus, <laughs> not getting drunk now. I have to go, I have to go do some errands after this and then barbecuing later. Uh, I might do some stuff with whiskey later down the road, maybe in like a week next week or a week after. So stay tuned for that. But, uh, um, the Aeolus, fantastic. I mean, Look at this. So mine is copper um, grill. I have copper uh, as well. Yeah, copper as well um, studs. Um, and the, the, I don't know if you can see this, um, but you can see that the copper still has like, almost like that proper raw copper look right around the screws. Um, uh, but uh, hey, Daniel, thanks for running. Raz, what's going on? Um, and then it's African Blackwood, so it has this just really really pretty look to it and mine um so these this pair actually has more of that grain like you can see it in the picture here i'll switch back to the still um so in this picture you can see the grain and that's how it looks even in sunlight whereas someone like uh, a buddy of mine a couple of buddies of mine have the african blackwood that's like it even in sunlight the thing looks like onyx like just or like a piece of obsidian glass crazy good looking um and that's the thing with with cmf is you always have a unique headphone right each um hey what's up demetrio um kevin what's going on uh unique headphone right they each, they're each a unique piece to you or whichever one you purchase right because it's the wood grain will always be unique it might be the same wood breed what have you but it's always going to be unique and then you can do custom grills and rods and you can do stuff like i put the, the pilot pad on mine with the the wonderfully cushy suede uh, these ones i believe are the universal uh universe perforated suedes um and whew, man this is like putting a cloud on my head it's so comfy um plus good with isolation and what have you um and then with the pad up top it's just soft it's like it's so ridiculously comfortable um last rhino what's going on man deepy my hooks what's going on um yeah, uh, did you ever take the grills off? What what does it look like in there? I have not taken the grills off of the front. I actually asked. So, but another fun fact: when I first was getting into this, in fact, Elric will remember this. I think I don't know if he remembers. It was me that asked that said this, but I asked for 
um, for either this grill as a replaceable or in the Verite Opens, if Zach would be willing to do a Death Star um, grill. <laughs> I thought that would be super cool. Of course, that's, uh, you know, that, you know, you can't, you can't do that. But, uh, but Zach, I, then I even asked, can I just purse like myself, swap out the grills to some other color, let's say, because I think on my, um, zero coats, I wanted copper, um, but I think I had black, um, grills. And so when Zach said he doesn't recommend it because you risk, run the risk of stripping the screws and you can fix that with wig glue per se. But I mean, at the end of the day, um, I, I would say, once they're in there, I wouldn't recommend pulling them off. Unless, I mean, your headphones, you do what you want. Um, but, you know, you run the risk of stripping the wood and that kind of thing. So uh, just be aware of that. Um, but, yeah, I wouldn't – personally, I wouldn't I wouldn't mess with these. Whereas some other headphones, like I've taken apart almost all my other headphones outside of, you know, like Focal or – but all my Sennheisers I've taken apart, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want it so bad. Um uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's the other thing too. That Zach's right now. He's ZMF. Zach Bevan and their whole team, man. They're killing it with those stabilized, man. Those things are just gorgeous. Um, I've kind of stayed out of the fray because I know that it, I would go down the got to catch them all path, and and it would be I'd be a very 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 poor man, and I have a lot of other hobbies that I want to continue doing. Um. So that being said, um. If, if you wanted to mod the things I would recommend that you can obviously do they're easy It's all the stuff that you know the pad swapping pad swapping is definitively a thing with these um, I prefer the suede perfs universe suede perfs um, Because they just have a nice smoothness to them and warmth and like uh, They're just really nice sounding pads, but then you can switch to like the universe perf uh, Leather or you can go the hybrids or you can do all sorts of things and the thing with ZMF is like you can really tune in your sound signature based on the pads um it's it's not massive but it's more like a if you're into eq it's kind of like minor eq changes um but they're noticeable like they're definitively noticeable changes when you switch out the pads um that being said today i'm probably only going to be focusing more on just um these as the aos and there's some co quick comparisons but um today i'm using my tt2 as the dac um, into because I don't have any other amp set up right now other than the TT2 and I might switch to the TT2 solid state but uh, they'll have a nice delay but um, right now I'm currently using um, the headphones X amps and sound uh, amp that's coming out here hopefully in the next couple months um, it's there's you know like all things COVID things are being delayed and everything so um, but hopefully we have some more information on that coming out but it's essentially what it will be is it's an exclu exclusive amp for headphones.com with amps and sound collaboration um, and it's basically a very m upgraded mogwai essentially uh, with other couple things going on there um, and, and different um, outputs and input outputs sorry out outputs and inputs actually because it's only headphones there's no speaker taps um, so anyways that's what I'll be using for this and these with tubes are like all the are fantastic so um, all right, let's go answer quick questions because I, I like chat with you guys. You guys rock. So let's see here. Um, hey, what's going on, EFGP? What's going on, everybody, for joining? Thank you, uh, Kevin. Sorry that you that you sold them. I know those feels. Um, it's always like, ah, why did I do that? Um, in fact, I sold another pair that's hopefully coming in the next couple of days or so or next week. Is I bought a and people are giving me flack for this, but I bought a, a used HD HD seven hundred because I missed that headphone for for a while. So I'm looking forward to getting that back in. And I mostly use that for um, gaming and, and what have you. Anyways, back to these beautiful things. Um, I get lost in these. I get lost in the Verite opens, the Aeolus, and the Verite closed. Um, and when I had the Atur in, like all the ZMS, for whatever reason, man, they just grab me. Like they just like even that's that's kind of what I was doing in the beginning, like. Oh, like there's a couple of moments where I was like, oh, did I miss, did I miss it and go live because I was just jamming to these, man. They just, they're, they're not the most detailed. They're not the most, um, aggressive. They're not, um, they're just smooth and they're just, they just work, right? Like, so when I had the, the clears in versus like versus these, these ones are just warm and they, they engage they make me relax i can but at the same time i can kind of you know you can get into it they're just a great headphone all around and it's in my opinion for my preference these are probably my recommendation not probably they are my recommendation because they're the only ones i've kept um in that price range so anything from like 
800 to like 1400 bucks I'd say 1500 bucks I, for me the Aeolus is like the king of that range um it's just it it does so good um and it's just for my preference it's my thing that I love the most as far as sound signature um let's see here um it's late june batch visa service uh i think so let's see you're already imagining 3d printed grills so cool <laughs> um yeah that would be really cool if you do some like 3d printed grills or something like that that would be pretty cool i know um there's lots of different things you could potentially do but i wouldn't recommend it with the verite opens because those are seated in there very tightly and like even zach says do not remove those grills um uh let's see here um june july batch is quite a bit more aeolus more vcs as well yeah um i really wanted to get in on some the moons or the fire in the skies yeah there are some beautiful the, the they're killing it with those stabilized um and greg yes this is a suede pilot pad um and i don't do it like i actually was unconventional and i i, I kind of squeezed it in to the um the leather strap so actually you can see here um, another option you can do is just get the the suede strap there we go the suede strap like this is all my verite opens is the suede strap it's not a leather strap it's the suede um and then so you can do that as an option but i found that with the leather strap that's on that i have on my aeolus i can actually i just squeezed it in the, with the pilot pad and just clamped it over the top so it kind of made it i mean it gives it does push the this if you have a bigger head um you're gonna have to, you're gonna want the longer rod so that's what i have here I actually have longer copper rods than was stock on these i believe um so just p be aware of that um but yeah so the suede pilot pad is on the leather strap below the headband um yeah and so and so also brian since that's kind of i'm kind of skipped ahead uh it's feels like a pillow like with the suede on suede crime here it's it's so soft and so comfortable it's like putting a cloud on my head it's so comfortable and it's just and it helps with that kind of getting into the engagement of, of listening with these um so right now i was listening to, to anderson pock um come down fantastic album and it just mm, gets gets jamming right like just woo. yeah anyways uh so let me get to my uh normal test track so we can kind of go over these these headphones um a little bit more uh, and right now the cables on this are the oh actually this kind of came off right here. Oh, boop, boop. I drink I need a six. I haven't used these cables in forever. So, um, so these are these ones are actually the the older upgraded um, OFC copper I think or uh, it's just the upgraded original upgrade from the flat ones that they used to have. So now they have a um, a newer um, upgrade cable and stock cable. So this is now, I believe, the new stock cable, more or less. And then they have the upgrade cable is more that looks more kind of like what my Verite Silver cables are on my um, Verite Opens. Um, but then they have a different um, a different hardware now as well for those. Um, let's see here. So let's go into some signal to the noise, signal in the noise by Gogo Penguin. Um, and we'll kind of talk about these headphones a little bit some more. Um, one thing also about the suede pads, if you wear glasses, the suede's actually really conform around them a lot. And I don't really notice any major drawbacks wearing glasses, even with me with my thick frame um, plastic ones. Um, see, like it, it doesn't have quite the same like detail that would like a clear, like so for instance, then like the clear, um, new clear magnesiums or say the Verite opens, but it's good enough, if that makes sense. Like everything about this headphone is like good enough. Like everything is, it's just an engaging, lovely sounding headphone that just, it pulls you in. It has just the right amount of detail, just the right amount of bass. And it's maybe even a little bit heavy on the bass side, to be honest, for some people. For me personally, I really like it. It has a nice engagement. It's not overly punchy. It's, it's, um, but it has a nice slam to it or a nice, like, oomph to it. Um, you can hear the bass. You can hear, the other thing that's kind of interesting about these is it's, um, the detail and imaging is good, but it's not, like, it does kind of, like, blur a little bit in there. But you, you pick up the things, like the hi-hat. Like, I wish there was maybe a little bit more sparkle on the highs with these, but that kind of, uh, it's, but it's not, like, a major detraction, so... Yeah, it's just, 
it's just a smooth, like relaxing. Like I could just totally see sitting in an awesome leather chair, putting these on, having a good setup with some whiskey, end of the night, just leaning back and chilling, like just, just floating. Cause it's, these are just, they just have, they, 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 they grab you that way. It's like being enveloped, especially like with the sways, they just envelop you and they make it just, make you just want to relax and chill and just, and just kind of, you know, bob your head, get into it and just, oof, fantastic headphone. Um, so, but yeah, like I was saying before, like the details thing is maybe not the best, um, not as good as like a clear, even OG, not as fast per se, but it has this, um, je ne sais quoi about it that just, for me, the tonal balance too is just like the piano and the way that it lingers. It reminds me of the, the, uh, even the tour and the, um, Verte opens, um, a little bit, but I mean, I'm, you're technically, these are much lower, uh, on certain points of that. But yeah, just lovely, lovely headphone. Um, and that the the bass hits nice. I'm not listening super loud either. I'm listening kind of probably around 70 to 80 dB maybe with peaks into 80, I'd say. Um, and see the bass, like that's the thing that these do really well is that tone, like the tone of all the different instruments just sounds right to me. And okay, so yes, um, yeah, Gunnar, uh, I do also like that combo. The Celeste with the Tacoma Limiteds are is a very nice combo. Um, hopefully, I'll get another Celeste in soon. I have the the Coney Limiteds with my Stelia, um, really nice. Uh, last Rhino, and this is another thing that's interesting about the. Um, I'm talking probably way loud because I'm listening to music and chatting with you guys. Uh, another thing that's really interesting about these is they they don't need a highly resolving DAC. In fact, they don't need a highly anything. Like they, they like off of even Spotify or like, um, you, you know, like you don't need a lot for these to shine. And that's another thing that makes them so good as like as an all-rounder. Like that's always something I always push these as is like an all-rounder, in-game, all you would, all, all a sane audiophile would, not even audiophile, like a sane person that loves audio music, right? That wants to have a nice pair of headphones that look good or whatnot. I mean, these are just one of the better all-arounders. Um, and so, Kevin, um, speaking on that, the bass on this is more boomy. Um, boomy isn't the right word. It just it has more of a. Um, it's not as punchy. So the VC is. So the VC, very punchy dynamics, very fast. It it it. It gets you, man. And th this one's super engaging too, and it's just a different signature, right? And I do think, here's one thing that's also fantastic about DMF headphones, and a lot of other headphones for, in general, but like mo I've noticed it the most so far in my time in this this hobby um, with ZMF is each of ZMF's lineup have a unique characteristic or um, capability or technicality that makes them worth having um, just for the differences, because they do, they all are different, you know, like they all create something that, that allows for them to be, and that's why I regret selling even my older Aeolus, one, because the wood was gorgeous, it was a zero coat, and it's like, ah, oh, why would you do that, um, but, uh, the, each, each of the lineup has a different signature, right, and so, outside of, um, one thing I have noticed, though, is the Verite Opens, especially, um, are kind of like the catch-all of all of his lineup, and like everything he, I mean, this is my, my thoughts, not him telling me, this is just me kind of taking it. So don't, don't, don't put wor words into ZMS mouth or anything with this. But for me, the Verite Open is um, basically everything that I've heard from his other headphones kind of just crammed into the Verite Opens and then amped up the speed detail and just and stage and image like everything so it's just basically taking everything that he's done before shoving it into one headphone and being like here is my swan song and then the verite close is like here's my swan song with way more dynamic punch in a closed back with a little more treble a little more um v-shaped a little bit but it's it but it has almost the same signature as the verite opens which is like what like that's the crazy thing about the verite close is that um that it does that all right, I forgot to turn my notifications off on my phone, so probably heard, by the way, purple. Oh, purple case. Um, but uh, anyhow, um, yeah, so those, that's the kind of the lineup. And with the Aeolus, I think, is kind of the, the 
like what the verite open does where it does everything really like took everything that he did prior and shoved it into this fantastic headphone the aeolus is kind of like the every man's or every woman's every person's um uh headphone right like i can't imagine anyone not listening to these and not enjoying them that makes sense like they just they're just good headphones like they're i, I can't emphasize enough that these are like kind of the all-arounder that i recommend and this is a little bit of a, a love i'm probably coming off super shilly but i mean that is that's, man i just these are the things these the aeolus was actually one of the things that grabbed me in the hobby and and kept me there if that makes sense like the like listening to these and the verite opens were what really grabbed me and pulled me down and made me dive deeper down the rabbit hole of, of audiophile world was 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 these um the first big wow moment was for me um hd 800 with the tube amp um outside of that it was the focal lineup with their speed like the elex and then the clear ogs um were like mind-blowing but yeah um let's see here hey KZ &E. what's going on? Eric, what's going on? How does the soundstage compare to the Autour? Um, Autour soundstage is, a, is really like, sorry, it's been, I'm trying to bring it in my head. So this is audio memory. It sucks on humans, just so you aware. Um, I don't find the soundstage on these super, super wide. They're wider than like a clear. Um, they're nowhere near as wide as say the Verite Opens um, or what have you. And Autour has this ability where it has like kind of a, like that little bit of, not only sparkle, but it has this, um, clean sound to it to some level on the on the highs and whatnot that gives it a little bit it feels slightly wider if that makes sense but i would say the auteurs are more of your mid-range kings like they just if you like vocals if you like that mid-range like really beautiful tonal like sound of a like a really nice mid-range that's the tours would be what i would say would be the thing if you really like really enjoy vocals really enjoy like the mid-range more than the highs or lows um the the auteurs um oh okay and so, so this is going to turn into kind of an audio <laughs> zmf thing um yes i have heard multiple different um zms with different woods the verite clothes i've heard the iron woods i've heard the monkey pods um i've heard um uh, the stabilized and i've heard uh, and then I have a, an Ashwood. That's what my Verite clothes are, is the Shoshugiban style Ashwood. Um, that's that burn with the Japanese style where they burn the grains and give it that nice, cool, like dark, like tiger stripe almost. Um, but, uh, um, and the, the woods do change certain parts of the decay in, in, in speed and transients kind of thing. Um, especially with the Verite clothes, because you're obviously getting more of that. Um, with the open back ones, it's not as noticeable, but it can be. And the only time I really, 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 truly noticed it is when I had the monkey pods. And so I had the monkey pods, and I listened to those pretty religiously as the only headphone I listened to on the Verite clothes um, for like a month. And then I got my uh, Ver I got my Ashwoods, and I was, I was talking to a buddy of mine that has the... Uh, the stabilized um stabilized one of the first stabilized uh very close and i was explaining like i was hearing these differences right like was it seemed like the um like the decay was faster um with with the uh uh the the ashwood i think it was, yeah and then and it seemed like there's you know so that was there was but it, it took me having literally the same wood headphone for a month before i really even noticed that difference and then once you started swapping back and forth it was harder and harder to notice so just as a heads up i would personally if i wouldn't worry about the audio signature of the wood for headphones i would go with um what looks your preference for wood the look of it over any kind of audio um, benefits or negatives with the wood um hey john how's it going thanks for joining um a week of seven <laughs> my way my very last long seven weeks yeah that's the other thing about uh, zmf man it's like um it's like waiting for christmas right it's like oh <laughs> when's it gonna get here and then you get the box you open it up you're like ah. it's like it's i don't know it's it's a it's a cool thing it, it, it can be like that just get here already um so there's that as well um but they are they're worth the wait in my opinion uh they they just sound lovely give it some time with some some and there's another thing that i people will always i don't know you can be a believer or not what have you 
but I do believe that ZMS are some of the, actually the only headphones I've really ever heard that did change over time with, with burn-in. And I'm, I think it's something to do with the mechanical burn-in of the way that the drivers are seated into the cups. And then when they settle, they get, you know, they, they firm up and they, you know, they settle in and, and they have their proper signature once they do. But it does take a little bit of time for that to happen, I've noticed. Um, specifically with the I've, not the, I've noticed it the most with the Verite closed and the Verite opens. The, the other ones, I noticed it, but it wasn't as drastic as, as, as I noticed with the um, uh, Verite closed especially. Um, so yeah, be aware of that. Uh, Marius, I've been... Been good, been good. Uh, <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go traveling. We're actually gonna go um, do a little staycation here this weekend with the fam. Uh, go up to to the lovely um, Bellingham area in the Pacific Northwest and and putts around there for a little bit. Um, drift, what's going on? <laughs> How you doing, man? Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, that sort of thing. Some people like to call these. Um, Probably inappropriate and not safe, but they call them the nips on certain sites or discords, forum servers. Um, and it took me the longest time to figure out why. Uh, so yeah, that's a little fun fact. Um, <laughs> yeah, got my ZMF. Yeah, man, purple ZMF. I'm, I'm representing today. I'm full full ZMF mode. Um, and yeah, definitely look for aesthetics first. When it comes to the woods, I would go aesthetics first and then not really stress on it. And then also be aware that, yeah, the pads can be a little expensive, but they're cheaper than getting new headphones. Um, but Because you, you can get different pads and roll them and find your preference with the pads, which is really, really cool. Um, let's see. The monkey pods do look pretty good. They're pretty fantastic. Um, let's see, what else we have? Um, let's do some more music. Uh, so... At the end of the day, like I've listened to these so much over the over the years, um, so I've had a an Aeolus in in my house for over three years now, or yeah, around three years now. Um, so more or less, I think. Well, maybe just under three years, uh, but right around that that marker. Um, so to me, like once again, these are warm, they're engaging. Uh, detail might not be the best. Speed might not be the best. The bass can be a little bit boomy and kind of bleed a little bit into the other stuff. Same with the mid range. It has this kind of like smoothness like that. It doesn't come off as overly bad or in, in a negative way. It just, it comes off as smooth, if that makes sense. And everything just kind of comes together nicely. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, vacations are definitely something that needs to be done more often than not. Um, we were all vaccinated in our house too, by the way, so it makes it a little bit easier, a little more ready to go. Um, we're looking forward to uh, yeah, we are our yearly trip to Hawaii eventually too. Uh, let's see here, um, Aeolus and Bottlehead Crack. Yes, 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 yes. Tubes and ZMF are like peanut butter and chocolate, peanut butter and honey, peanut, you know, whatever you're combining of things that are like ah. It, yes, ZMF, especially the ALS, especially like the um, the Verite Opens is another one that's really good. But you know what's funny is I noticed though with the Verite Opens, they're actually a little more sensitive to um, tube noise, which is interesting to me comparatively to other headphones that I have. Um, but that being said, they do pair very well with my bottlehead crack. Um, and that's over there because I'm using the wonderful Amps and Sound one right now. X headphones, headphones X Amps and Sound. Um, so yeah, let's go back into some. Uh, let's do something. Let's do Miss Ida B. We're gonna go. We're kind of rapid fire through some of these um, tracks here. Um, I got Miss Ida B. Uh, wonderful blues track. Lots of fun signatures going on. Um, I mean the. See in here, like the 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 electric words they come out the mouth. The electric guitar like cuts through and like you really hear it and it sounds lovely or sometimes it can be a little sibilant with certain tr like certain headphones um but these it gives it just this nice like natural tone sound to it and it really it has that piercing electric twang that you know that if you know what i'm talking about it's that you know, you know um and it it does a really good job then you can hear the hi-hats but they're withdrawn they're like they actually place like these have really good depth if that makes sense like the guitar sounds like it's forward of the of the the um 
the bass or the bass of the uh, the drums, and you can hear the drums, but they're definitely placed back further. And the hi hats aren't as as crazy, um, like sparkly, like you would think. Some like I with other headphones that I get. So I'd say that like these have a little better depth than they do width, and the vocals are not a tour good, but they're they're good. They're very good. Um, and that the the bass is there. In fact, one of the things that's interesting is the bass isn't as textured or um, punchy as as like some of the like the Verite close or the Verite opens or uh, you know even like something like the clear or what have you. But it does have a nice like just feel to it. Like it's almost like you're getting a nice warmth there. Like it's 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 bumpy. <laughs> it's not punchy. It's bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> so one of those things right um it just sounds hey thanks Myers. oh man thank you brother thank you appreciate it um let's let's go yeah vocals so good um also if you guys haven't heard this lady um i'm gonna switch to one of the other tracks because i see some other ones that are really freaking good is uh Oh, do I have any of her singles? I don't think I have any of her singles in here. Um, uh, so here we go. We'll do this one. Really, and really, really dig in on this artist. Her name's Georgia Smith. Um, this track's Addicted. And it's like, she just has a lovely voice. And she's just really, really lovely. And with this, oh, like, I'm not gonna lie. I got a little goosebumpy right now. Listen, when she starts singing, the, the music kicks in. It's just. Yeah, like, man, just it's just that's the thing that with the ZMF, like the Aeolus, especially. It just has this smooth, just. It's eff like I was there's another headphone that we talk about, like, you know, effortless when someone talks about like how if something is effortless at, at listening or, or presentation. These are effortless. Like they just work. Um and they they just and they're not like super like detailed. They're not super like crazy um punchy, but they have a nice smooth warmth and they have this tonal balance that just kind of I think that's the trick that it is. Is they have this tonal balance and this smooth warmth that just grabs me and just holds me, right? Like it's just one of those things where you can listen effortlessly and be happy so i don't know that's one of those things um i'm probably coming off as a complete weirdo <laughs> whatever but i do I, like i'm honestly the zmf are what really pulled me into the hobby and and kept me here um and on top of that zach bevan and their whole team are just lovely people like they are some of the the coolest nicest people i've met so far in the hobby um and they're just they're genuinely cool people and nice and very wonderful people um highly recommend if you ever go to like a can jam that they're there to go say hi and meet them um or if once things cool down obviously and you can start doing that type of thing i, I highly recommend it they are definitely people worth saying hi to um let's see here get back into some questions here uh gotta roll hey kareem thanks for joining my man you rock um emil's like a few weeks ago about different wood options for the aeolus he said that there should be a limited yeah there's a bunch of limited editions coming i they believe and then he does the the right now he's doing some stabilized here and there but i think they're going to do like a set that's usually how he rolls i don't take it as gospel but usually they every so many months or how it depends on the wood that they get in and, and right now wood's hard to get um and it's expensive and so who knows how that goes i'm, I'm speculating i don't i don't know i don't have any insider information on that but uh, i'm assuming that's is whenever whatever wood he can get his hands on to, to make them so and usually he's 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 yeah that's how that usually works from my my understanding but i don't don't quote me on that for the limiteds and that kind of thing um yeah, so this was a limited. This is a limited Blackwood, African Blackwood, um, that he did. Um, let's see here. Um, can I request Pause Lazarus by James Carter? Yeah, let's do that. Um... I 
I spell this right? Or, um, so let's see here. While I'm doing that, I'm not finding that specific track for Pause Lazarus. And so James Carter, um, Poe Lazarus. That's why James Carter. <laughs> Got it. Should have read further down. Um. As, huh, it's not showing up in like um anyways, uh let's see here. Oh I'm seeing Bob Dylan Polazer. I'm seeing Lead Betters. Dylan. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing that specific one. Hmm. Um, let's see here. I uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Well, the Fio BTR5 drive cans like these. That's tough. I don't think so. That's the other thing. These are 300 ohm. They do take a lot of power to get to like optimal. But I have powered them off of. Um, so I up to it right now. But I have a KN N6 II DAP. And I've listened with this on the go, like just around the house or like when I want to listen down on my couch downstairs or, you know, whatever, like, or, or outside real quick. Um, this has done an admirable job and it does enough. I don't know about the EO, if that would be one that would do it well enough. And you can get them loud enough. So there's a difference between being loud enough and, and properly getting the emotion out of it, if that makes sense. Um, and so they do, they will probably get loud enough, um, but they won't have the, think of it like torque in a car, right? Like you can have all the horsepower in the world, but if you have zero torque, it's going to be like, Rah! you know, it's just going to not go anywhere. Um, but at least it won't have that kind of pull you, push you back in the seat. It doesn't give you that, that, that oomph kind of thing. Um, that's kind of how I, I view that, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah. Uh... Uh, darker wood yeah uh sorry i couldn't find um that track it's not i found i found like bob dylan's version i found a couple other ones but uh, as far as um carter i couldn't find it um yeah <laughs> uh let's see here thanks for the info da, da, da. cannot wait for mine and then you ever tried it uh, Parent Army IDI2 tag of us with Zima. Yes, um, that one works as well. Uh, I and I actually have the Army. It's sitting right there. Um, it does work. It does get loud enough and does have. It seems. But the thing with Army is the the Army's DAC is good. The amp is good, but they I don't know. Like the uh, the the amp is kind of the weak spot for that DAC or that that all in one for the Army. Um, it's not a bad amp. It's just uh it, it's when in comparison to other things that's the weak spot of that um i kind of talk about that in my burson video i did recently um and sometimes like uh the manufacturers throw those things in to kind of make it an all in one to kind of give it all the, the benefits and be able to do it and with the the rme specifically that's more like a professional tool and so they want to be able to let people hear things with the amp and i don't know so that Anyways, long and short of it, yes, it will power these probably just fine, and the DAC will be fine. It will be, it should be okay in general. Um, but they do shine a little bit more on uh, like a tube amp or a tube hybrid, or um, even a little more powerful of a solid state. In fact, on the Cord TT2, uh, I've really found that they are lovely. Also, the Bursons, all the Bursons are. Oh, man, like I really like the burst and sound signature. It just has this that the op amps kind of give me that that tube sound a little bit without having to be a tube, if that makes sense. Um, let's see here. I was gonna see uh, oh, Tommy Prophet in the end. We'll we'll start doing some songs and we'll and I'll kind of answer as I go. In the end, okay, there we go, boom. That one I found. <laughs> and also, Kobas can be a little bit weird finding tracks sometimes. That's kind of tough. Ooh, that's a cool entry. Um, and it is windy outside. Oh man, that is that. See, that's lovely. Like the the etherealness of it. Like 
it, these also add a lot to that kind of a signature, that sound, that etherealness, because it's because they're so smooth, they can they almost feel like things are coming out of the fog or coming out of the the clouds or something. Like it's it's so like so stuff like this, it does have that kind of like revealing without be but still being obscured. I don't know. It's a weird <laughs> thing to talk about. <laughs> but yeah, these are these these just this this kind of track with these. So this is uh, in the end by Tommy Prophet. And it's it really shines with this kind of thing where it has this kind of laid back presentation of it. It's not going to be like where the VC I can already tell would be like super punchy with this, and it would be it'd be it'd be more intense of a listen. But this is more of that engaging, smooth, relaxed listen. It's nice. Um, and this is a good track. I might boom. Thank you. Added. That's a cool track. I like that. Um, yeah, see, even him rapping and stuff, it's it's pretty good. Let's see here. Um, next one was Jamaica. Oh, good, good track. Oh, sorry, I skipped ahead. James Blake. Oh, this is another good track. I like this song. And it's funny, I don't have this, this... I wonder why I don't have this on my... Oh, I have it on Spot. No, I have this on Kobos. That's the thing about Kobos, man. Like, sometimes... I even noticed with some streaming sites, like... Like, I have this on my Kobos playlist. I know I do. But this, when I did this search, it didn't show it as on my favorites. And so, like, I'll probably now have, like, two of this track now. Anyways. Man, that piano in his voice, though. See, these just shine for that. Like, they don't become, they're not overbearing. They don't, because sometimes with, like, something like a Verite open or, like, a Clear or a Utopia or, like, a something's higher and stuff, sometimes they can be overbearing with, like, how much presentation and detail and imaging and, like, everything. Like, it just becomes such a, a sensory overload sometimes. Whereas these, and some people might not like that, but, like, to me, these, because they're they're not, like, pushing that detail to the finest point or they're, they're not pushing the punchiness or bass like right now the bass right here this is a trick it does this blah, 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 blah. and it just it sounds fine like we're sometimes with like the verite close with this track it'll be like it feels like someone's like bah, 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 like punching you in the head a little bit you know like not in a bad way but like it just it's so punchy or even with like the utopias or what have you like it can be a little intense um so there's something to be aware of uh but these like it's just it's just warm it's like it's like hot cocoa in front of a fireplace on a winter morning, right? It's just these just work like a hot toddy or something. Fantastic. All right, lovely track. Um, Jamiroquai. Probably smelled smelled. I spelled spelled this horribly. This, but yeah, I totally misspelled Jamiroquai. <laughs> uh, Jamiroquai. Jamaric. So there, yeah. That's not. That's not it. Jamir. Oh, that's why. I should probably read and type like a normal person would. Cloud nine. All right, Jamaricai. Mary Kwai, 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 nine, cloud nine. Um, so, and then we'll do the gates of in Istanbul. Um, and so that's the thing, like with these, like they're just, they're just easy. Like, it's just, I can put these on. Like, in fact, I haven't listened to these in, in quite a while. I'm not going to lie. I put them on today and was just instantly re-enamored and just happy. Like they just, I, they engage me. In fact, like I, Legit was like, okay, I'm gonna miss my stream because I'm listening to music too much. Um, and they just, yeah, they just the smooth. Even here, like, just so smooth and just it has that bass. Like, it's it's everything's. It's kind of almost like a Goldilocks thing, right? Where it's like it's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's not, it's just right. Like, there's just this just right feeling to these. Like that, like I also say, like good enough feeling to them, right? And sure, you can get way more engagement with certain other things and stuff, but 
these are just fantastic headphones, man. They just sound good. Um, Jamiroquai, great. Sounds fantastic. Vocals, it's just clean, good, warm. Uh, Sorry, I'm missing tracks here. Um, I should probably put my glasses back on. <laughs> um... I'll do this last uh, Gates of Istanbul, and then we'll I'll jump into the chatting with you guys, and we'll 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 kill it. Um, then we'll we'll finish up the stream because we're pushing into that last forty five minutes here. Um, oh man, the intro's intro is pretty pretty cool. Um, and yeah, it's actually really easy to swap paths, especially once you get acclimated to it um, or used to it, I should say. Like the trick I do for these is, or for all ZMFs, is I do that. Like I'll leave one pad on, right? And I put it on top of each other so you have a nice, it, it creates its own little cushion and pad. And then you just put your finger underneath um, here and there's a little lip there and you just grab it and you just kind of pull it all off. And then to put them back on, I guess I can try and, oh, I'm going to screw this up royally, right? Um, so you just do this, you kind of pull your thumb and kind of edge it off um, around the edge. You can kind of see, and then it pops right off, right? And so there's the Verite opens pad. Um, and because it has that cushion, it doesn't, you don't have to worry about the wood so much. And then I usually put it on like my, my mouse pad. And what I'll do is I just, I fold the edges over like so um, to put it back on. And I sometimes will leave an, a lip on there just so I can, you know, put it on or whatever. And then you just kind of either use that little lip you left on and you kind of bring it down onto it onto the the wood edge here um and so now you have it on the edge and then you can just slowly bring that that lip that lip back over like so and then sorry it's not the easiest to do when i'm trying to do it and you can let it fall a little bit there and just flop it over see and then once it's to a certain point you just do the same trick where you put your finger underneath the the lip here and you kind of pull it out and you can just slowly rotate bring that edging over and then once it's on there you just slide it around till you got it in the right spot um so these are not in the right spot so you just slide it like so just spin it around boom and then that is on the fly pod remove pod pad removal and <laughs> replacement um, so and once you get it down it's not not horrible it's pretty easy this is a great track by the way too it's very easy i like the little details in it um it's just it, that's the other thing too is with the the uh Aeolus is if you don't want to focus on the music and you just want it as like a cool background thing to kind of like tune out and just either focus on work you can it makes it easy um Okay, well, we'll do a, fine, we'll do one more, one more track. Big, I, I gotta hear this, this, I think I've heard this before, the big boy. Uh, kill Jill. Uh, yeah, here you go. Killer Mike, oh yeah, I have heard this. This is fantastic. Um, so, <laughs> Elmerick, uh, basically it was a love letter, Elmerick, to the Aeolus and ZMF, like always. Um, the Aeolus to me is, once again, I'm gonna TLDR it is is kind of like that just right headphone or good enough headphone for most people um it's super well all arounder um it's not gonna be the most detailed it's not gonna be the most imaging beast or most like and, and the low end isn't the greatest it's but it's not overly bloomy to me it's it's just it's like that just right right like it has maybe even a little bit bassy like it is definitely a bassier headphone or warmer headphone and like even right now like it's it's not punchy it's bumpy right <laughs> um so yeah it's like it's just you know it's it has this bumpiness it's not punchy it's kind of like this like you just wanna it's bumpy you know it's nice um and then the treble isn't super like it's not overly in your face the detail's not overly in your face it's just that that goldilocks just right um kind of sound and it, and to me um for most people, this would be fantastic and, ab and above and beyond. So, <laughs> perfect, fantastic. Jinx, Marius, jinx. <laughs> hey, you're welcome, Kevin. Um, and and that's and that goes for all the, the ZMS. And actually, um, 
one thing to know is that when the pads are brand new though it can be a little bit tougher to do that swap just because the you know they're not kind of as loose depending so um oh yeah someone else was talking about the empyrean and vo up top um where i missed that i wanted to touch on that so to me the imp I, I think the verite open destroys personally the the empyrean um and actually elric has both currently so that's actually a very good person to ask um let's see here do you have a comparison headphone for resolution i've heard not not that resolving but they may be a good thing in my mind i understand what the they would be close to for it oh so resolution so well if you're uh, a certain measurement person um that goes that, that likes to be in martinis um that's not a real thing resolve resolving <laughs> jokes aside though um I personally think that these aren't the most resolving. Um, something that'd be more like a for the same price range, something like the Aria would probably be a little more resolving. Um, and to me, these would fall more into these. Actually, are very similar to actually Elric. You have them currently. Um, the I think these are kind of like the uh, not the same, but they have a less punchy and and detailed. Um, signature to something like the radiance where the radi radiance to me would be a little more resolving um but then these would be the easier to get along with smoother headphone if that makes sense um yeah actually that's perfect yeah and these do like these are not quite out tour levels but they're they're definitely pretty close like to me like of all the headphones the the aeolus this is gonna not entirely accurate, but to me the Aeolus is kind of the baby Verite open. So if you were to basically crank up the detail, crank up the the punchiness, the speed, the the imaging, the stage, the depth, everything, the, the basically turn everything to eleven, um, and then make everything just you know everything. It, that would be the comparison to me. Um, going back and forth with these that's that's kind of the, the signature i get where these are definitively a technically and personally i would i do because i wear these more than i do these but um the that's kind of a similar style i guess or signature i would get um these are a little bit more in comparison these would be considered muddy i would guess comparatively i would i, I don't want to say that works i think it's a negative word for, for headphones um but in comparison to the Verite Opens, these would be considered kind of a bloomy, muddied sound. But I don't think that's fair. Like that's that's in comparison to something that's you know twice the the cost and um, and I would say easily twice, if not more, the performance level of these. Um, but they have different. That's the thing about ZMFs. Each of them have their unique capabilities and in, in place in the world of, of audio. I think that's the fun thing about them. Is that's why it's easy to collect and why I want to collect them all is because they all do have their unique characters and and really bring some unique things to the table depending on your mood and what you want to do so uh hg100s and very to close that's easy hg100s is fantastic on the bottlehead crack and on certain tube amps um and also the stage on that is stupid wide and stupid it's like it's one of the it's, it's one of those things it's like you have to hear it to believe it but personally, if you were to put both in front of me, I'd grab the, the Verite Opens probably 9.8% of the time. <laughs> um, so 99.8% of the time, sorry. Uh, <laughs> and uh, um, that was a faux pas. Uh, I, would, I would definitively grab the 9 out of 10 times, I would grab the Verite Open out of, uh, outside of the HG800s. Um, Let's see here. What do you think about the song "The Game" from Daniel Universe album Acoustic Two? Um, and oh, so I want to kind of touch some more on the 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 Empyrean. Um, I know I joke a lot about things, and I I do think I I do have strong opinions about certain things, but I also understand that other people don't have those same strong opinions, and we all do, right? Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the Empyrean, but I don't think it's bad. Like I think it's actually a pretty fun headphone. Like it it. Like Elnick says, it has a really kind of nice stage to it, depth to it, and it's got it's a fun headphone. It sounds really fun. Um, my only real problem or squabble with it, I guess, would be that at times 
Um, and someone mentioned it in some reviews here and there where it's kind of like the king of mid-fi, if that makes sense. Like if you were to price it in the same range as these, that'd be a tough, that'd be, that would be a good combo right there. That would be fantastic. But the, at the price point that it's at currently, and I, I don't, I know it's not fair to throw price into a, the mix and all that stuff, but it is something to think about. And so, um, I don't know. I think that the Empyrean is a good headphone and if it's, and it's worth listening to at least to get an experience of it. Um, for me, another factor for me was is for the way my anatomy works or ears or what have you, is I would get every once in a while this wall of sound and I don't like the, the way that the the traces are in the in the the, the plan art the driver. Um it messes with me too much. Like it, it just isn't my preference. So it's not that it's a bad headphone, just for me it's not my preference. And it makes some weird it just presents weirdly to me where it throws me off of my listening. And then sometimes certain tracks will it will just it'll go wonk for me and i and that breaks me out of my listening enjoyment where something like these i can listen to these in all tracks all music and just be there right <laughs> and so that's another thing about these if i have yet to find something that i didn't like listening to with this um outside of like music i don't like i mean even music i don't like they don't sound bad <laughs> it's just you know what i mean so uh that's another factor with these these are just a great all-arounder headphone um so, all right, let's go nail out some questions. I'd love to hear. I'm going to try and remember to grab some of these songs you guys are mentioning um, so I can listen to them later. Um, H.O. University uh, uh So, Werner, the, once again, I'd probably grab these more than the H.O. But I do think that the H.O. off of like a proper tube amp, is, it brings it closer and it has its unique engagement that's just really fun. But the, the low end on these just... Mm, grabs you more it has that more engagement factor than the h800s do the h800s have punchy punchy ish bass but they're just especially on tubes it bumps it up a little bit better but still it's not quite the same it's a fun experience and it's worth hearing and i i'm never, probably never gonna get rid of my h800s because it's just such a cool experience to hearing that but um yeah i definitely probably grab the ls more never heard utopia sorry i like impies though <laughs> they are great with crap out of and marks that's it so yes um the impies are fine man like they're once again that don't don't let anybody tell you that something that you like is bad that's that's their opinion and like all things that's who cares at the end of the day if you like it as long as you're not hurting other people who cares <laughs> don't don't listen to other people on the internet they'll, they'll lead you astray <laughs> um and same with me like if you don't agree with me that's fine i totally expect people not to agree with me or to find the same preference that's the thing about uniqueness and we're all you know unique snowflakes and all that fun stuff and so it's all about just finding your preference and these are my experiences and if you align with it that's awesome and if you don't that's awesome too like who cares let's have a good conversation and be respectful and nice and all that fun stuff um let's see here too many decisions to make among ALS Autor Verite, etc. So get them all. And that's exactly it, Kevin. That's my problem is I want to get them all. Um, I just have too many other hobbies that kind of take up my budget. Um, Elnick, Radiance doesn't let me relax. Yeah. It, that's the thing about the Focal lineup in general is they're so dynamic and so punchy and so, like, crisp. And just they, they don't they, – they're, they, they're like uh, like silver hammers, right? They just nonstop. And they, they're like, hey, I'm here, and you're listening to me. Um, they're a lean forward listen. Like I always talk about that when I was first getting into the hobby. There's these are a lean back and relax listen, and something like a Focal. That's why I like the ZMS and Focal lineup. ZMS tend to be a lean back and relax listen, whereas the Focal lineup can be is more of that kind of you lean forward and you, you get into it and you you know you're engaging that way. Whereas the lean back, you're in lean back and just you know it, it, that's kind of the thing I think of when they compare these type of deals. Um, Let's see here. We'll try to crank out the rest of these. Yeah, started pumping them out here. Um, uh, and so, oh, so uh, a tree. Um, I hope a, a tree, a tree. Uh, dude, I'm probably butchering him. I am terribly sorry for that. So forgive me, um, Charm. The 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 verite opens are a more balanced a sound. The verite closed have a little bit more of a V shape, and for some people, can be a little bit too punchy in the bass or a little bit too high in the treble. But just be aware of that. And then also, they do take burn-in. Like that, the Verite clothes, especially of all the ZMFs I've heard, um, were probably the most affected by burn-in, at least in my experience. 
and also prefer, like and i also depending on the mood i do prefer the like elner was saying i also prefer the vc generally over the verte opens just because there's that there's a uniqueness to them that just it's just really hard to put a finger on but it's this weird the 3d-ness the the just it's a crazy sound uh yeah so you got elner's already killing it he's already rocking it for me thanks elner uh, question I had was, uh, I don't know, I have the Aeolus on the Elise Mark II, but never the H. Um, so yeah, I think that's you, the Werner, the Aeolus with the Elise would be is really clean sounding and, and it helps kind of cut through some of the smoothness that is the, um, the Aeolus from my, from my remembering from the Elise. Um, it's a little bit brighter sounding tube amp, um, from my recollection. And, um, it does, it's a nice pairing actually. That's another great pairing. <laughs> uh, well, da, da, da. question I had related DACs. I'm looking to get a warm DAC to complement my Hugo too. Um, I'm a big fan of Cord, but if you want like a warm, I, I liked also the Bifrost too as a as a warmish DAC. Um, warm DACs. Um, I really like the Cord stuff, man. That's something I've really become a big fan of. Um, oh, another stuff if you have the budget for it would be the Hollow stuff. They have really fantastic DACs as well, but they're a little bit on the higher end. Um, last Rhino. Yeah, I was helping them shoot some stuff. Um, that was a fun, that was a fun video we did. Uh, so I've been helping them with some, some video, um, like, you know, doing camera work and stuff. And then we did that. It was fun, more of a fun thing. And it, it was, yeah, interesting. He's a, and Josh is a, he's a cool dude, man. He's a real nice, real chill dude. Um, but yeah, so that was fun. <laughs> it was definitely silly. It was a silly thing. Maybe we'll do more of that stuff in the future. Um, Let's see here, 800XX Focal Clear for 1000 or these, oh. So you can get the clear OG clears now. I know that headphones.com has them and I think they're the exclusives for the, the remainder of the OG clears. And I think you can get them for like $800, which is eight to $900, I think. I can't remember exactly the pricing, but that's a hell of a deal. And those are fantastic. And that's really hard to, to beat up. HD 800, personally, I prefer the clears to the 800s. So even the new 800s by drop, I would say, um, that'd be a tough one because that's roughly around the same pricing. And I think you'd get probably more bang for your buck with the clears, if that makes sense. But you'd lose out on some of that fun, like wide, super wide stage. And if you like to play video games, something like that, the HD 800s are pretty amazing for that. Um, let's see here. And these, I would say overall would be a, the better all arounder. Um, but the clear OGs is close, um, and the clear and magnesiums those are a higher price point, so it's harder to to just to, to to compare them completely to this. Um, and they're they're much to me the clear MGs the new MGs are closer to what the Utopia signature is. They're not Utopia technicalities and that kind of stuff, but they're closer to that punchy like detail monstery type thing. Um, yeah, and James, yeah, that's, a, that's fair. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, they're like a pay attention to me thing. That was good. That was hilarious. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, same to say Beats. Beats is fine. So actually, if you wanted to say Beats, I mean, yeah, you have headphones. They they make music. You're here for the music at the end of the day. That's what we're all here for is listening to music. Um, beats. The, so actually, it's funny. is The Mez 99 Classics, to me, like the, the, the Classics, not the Empyrean, um, are like a way better beats signature. And then the Empyrean takes that same Mez 99 classic signature and cranks it to 11. And then to me, these kind of fall between those, like all of those a little bit. Like they have that warmth, like a beats or like a, a that kind of sound. But these, I, I do find these to be a little bit, a little bit better than, than that. But anyways, uh, da, 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 I know that I prefer listening to Aria over clear when I'm, st <laughs> there you go. Um, and, and that could be because the Aria has a really insane uh, separation, image separation. Um, so that could be why you get this. It just it adds like a really holographic signature to it. Um, uh, to R two R, yeah, any R two R board. Pro oh, good one. Those are good. Um, Luke, uh, Marius, I'm surprised no new flags just released this year. So far, I was hoping to be wowed. Um, yeah, this year's not over yet. So I, hopefully, we get some stuff. I hear I hear some some rumor mill stuff coming out of. Uh, um, keep an eye out for, um, I think, Odyssey, and keep an eye out for, um, I mean, I don't, I don't have any details, but I, I hear rumors, so Odyssey is one that I know that I think, believe is coming, and I think there's some more stuff coming from Focal, but I'm not sure if it's an actual, like, um, 
because we had that live stream on headphones where they talked about they have so many more things coming down the line so i'm not sure what else is coming from them but uh, keep an eye out for that stuff um but yeah yeah not too much uh, headphones can be a little bit hit or miss with the years of, of releases um aries those are interesting yeah high, yeah high quality player and safe but yeah it's good there you go uh verite and prosper no one has ever regretted buying yeah that's the other thing verites are definitely one of the things i've heard a couple people actually not like verites verite clothes um there's a couple people out there that, that just it's not their thing so that's fine but mo majority of people i'd say eight to nine out of ten people do enjoy and love their verites um, and all their ZMS. I've yet to see too many people. There's, it's like probably that's about an average too. About eight to nine people out of ten love their ZMS, no matter which one it is. Uh, New York City new album, new recommendations from having headphones. Is also a good induction to ZMS. Yes, Kevin. Um, I would actually. This was my intro. Well, technically the Verte opens were, but this was my first owned pair. Was and I had the uh, Odyssey stuff. And I think as a dynamic, these would be a great entry into that stage. Um, it's not going to give you the, quite the same presentation as some of the Odysseys out there or the LCDXs. The LCDX is very clean, very similar to the clear OGs, um, but with the planar presentation. Um, but these are a little bit warmer, a little bit more uh, smooth kind of thing. Um, Bifrost 2, yeah. Bifrost 2 is fantastic. Hell of a deal for that. Um, anyways, I think we are now, oh, six minutes over our, my, my designated hour. Thank you everybody for joining. Um, this is like, anytime I do ZMF, it's a love letter. I, they, they just, they get me. That's their, 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 my audio, uh, opium, I guess. I don't know what you were on a, what the equivalent would be or crack or not, not really crack because it's not that, but like, they just, they get me. That's the thing that, that grabs me. Um, they're the. I don't know. They, it's the thing that whenever I need to have a reset of audio, I'll just put on my ZMS. So and I and I love them. So and same with Focal. Focal is my other ones that I tend to to keep around. Um, so yeah. Anyhow, uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day and remainder of your day and enjoy this weekend. I think it's a long holiday weekend, I believe, right? So memorial. So let's uh, have a great uh, weekend and rest of your weeks. And I'll see you guys on some of the other stuff and go from there go on the different wonderful socials and what have you uh enjoy the rest of your day everyone and cheers and thank you for joining and i hope it was entertaining if nothing else <laughs> all right cheers everybody hitting the stream uh and <laughs> one. and zach's already married he's he's got a lovely wife i have a lovely wife but zach if you are watching <laughs> cheers everybody <laughs>